Yeah, David Dread of Steel Pulse, and I'm saying heal to Lion Voice because it's time that the lion have its voice, have its own story. Says I'm stepping out here. Hear me now. Yeah, the lion's voice. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> That being said, today we are talking about the Rastafari man standard and we're going to talk about something that's critical to the Rastafari man standard and that is self-discipline. We're going to return to the University College of Addis Ababa speech, the speech on leadership, and we're going to drill down on two specific paragraphs where he talks about self-discipline and as a man self-discipline is one of the most important traits that you can carry as a man uh rastafari lich to farai makonin the chasmash to farai makonin rastafari or rastafedi uh negus to fedi uh is imperial majesty empire the celestia the first all of these stages represent heights of discipline within the human form you know when you're chatting as an anointed one you have to uh chad within the highest level of discipline so if we say we're manifesting that divinity within ourselves i and i we have to chad within our our higher self we can't be governed by the low chakra and that's the root chakra you know your pelvic area uh, this thing that drives many of us and right now, Babylon system, the frequencies, even if you listen to the music, the trap, all of these music, trap is really to trap you down in the lower chakra. So we as Rastafari, we have to vibrate on a high frequency. Rastafari vibration is what? Positive. So we give thanks to the Honorable Robert Nesta Marley for chanting these things. But it's so key. I'm going to read the two paragraphs. Again, this speech starts on page 12 of the selected speeches, and this is critical. So we're talking about the Rastafari man standard to rise the nation. Uh, you've heard it here on the channel said many times for repatriation to work, for the building of Zion to work, for this Edenic state to work. We have to build strong Rastafari families. If we're not doing that, we're joking, Bridget. The woolly pa baby mother thing crash. The, the, the womanizing crash during the Armageddon. As I speak right now, um, New York is in an apocalyptic smoke fire haze. You know, the West Coast has been getting burned for a long time. East Coast now I get a taste outside in DC. It's a purple uh, air warning, meaning that the air is unsafe to breathe. You have to wear a mask. Um, Babylon is burning so you know and that's on top of the, the threat of the collapse of the fiat currency that's on top of coming out of a pandemic that's on top of inflation that's on top of all the other crazy things that are happening in the US and Russia um, in war in the Ukraine uh, war spreading all over the earth unchecked um, this Monsanto Syngenta agenda fee control the food supply bill gates buying up all there's so much things we can talk about brethren and sister and what's happening right now which is why to thread through the needle of this armor um, gideon self-discipline is critical let us go to what his majesty says about self-discipline and i'm going to read from the speech of the university college of addis ababa and just to give some context this speech was given to a group of students um, in 1959, July 17, 1959, the Haile Selassie University was established in 1961. So this is the predecessor to the university. His Majesty built up these institutions. You know, he had the separate colleges and then he put them all together into the university, gave his palace for the university, one of the great works of Kadamawi. And um, I'm going to be uh, doing an interview on I Never Knew TV. 
so keep an eye out for that uh we're gonna be uh announcing when that will air on the channel uh we have some big interviews scheduled for lion talk lion talk live i want to just also big up but why i say that but i never knew tv we're going to be talking about the emperor and the great works because you have some people that have been saying how the emperor is a tyrant and a despot and these words are thrown around very loosely when you come on to the emperor because he had absolute power um we are going to challenge that narrative based on the works and the institutions built um and and you know we've heard the isomony of elders who live in that time uh, but that is uh, you know we'll get to that we'll get to that but right now again i just want to say big up to reverend uh, kwame kamau we just had our live with reverend kwame kamau very well received um powerful reasoning we reason about the bible we reason about the connection of the hebrews to kemet we re uh, about the Bantu tribes and the West African uh, the tensions of Hebrew culture and so many things that we, we, we reason. So make sure if you have not seen the Lion Talk Live, the second episode of Lion Talk Live. So, you, so you're saying that the Bible is an African story and that the, the people in the Bible, what evidence is there for that, that theory? Because this is controversial in some um some centers so you have the, the formal training what what evidence do you provide for these claims well that's a good question and i want to thank you for it uh it, there's really an um, embarrassment of riches the, the question really is from which scientific camp do you want me to extrapolate the information uh that you desire do you want me to pull from archaeology and some of the most ancient bones found in northeast africa aka israel aka palestine belong to the homo sapien sapien known as the african with the skull shape being docicephalic which is to say that we have a kind of elongated skull shape that tells you that this is absolutely african do you want to look at the anthropological uh, records in terms of the fact that we have Bantu African tribes today. We're talking about the Evervio tribe. Evervio is really uh, the root etymon of the word Hebrew. So from Ever, we have every, every becomes Ibri, Ibri becomes Ibu. Yes, the African tribe known as Ibu. And from Ibu, we get Hebrew. From Hebrew, we get Hebrew. So that African ancestor we call Iber is actually known in West Africa uh, quite well among the Evervio tribes there. Yoruba, uh, as we know it today, Y-O-R-U-B-A, comes from a, as it were, a Hebraic term which is Yariba, which literally means Ya or Ja shall increase, Yariba. Yoruba is the derivative of Yariba, Ya or He shall increase. Let's go on to, uh, as it were, the Lemba tribe by way of genetics. We know absolutely that with regards to the Lemba tribe, they have more Kohenim or Levite priestly genes in the Lemba tribe than any other known human being on the planet. So we have Lion Talk, which is the pre-recorded um, you know, interview. We go through the life story, we put in the nice images. That's the Lion Talk. Lion Talk Live is the latest show on the Lion Voice Network. We go live, raw, uncut, uncensored. And again, I have to big up Reverend Kwame Kamal. Very powerful interview. Go check it out. Then you can come forward. I'm here. But today, we are talking about self-discipline. And this is something that without discipline as a man, you will not live a prosperous life. You will likely... Uh, cause chaos, you will, you will distribute pain, you will become a detriment to your own self and to others. Um, a man without discipline is a dangerous uh, entity within creation and a lot of I and I who say we are Rastafari, a lot of ones who identify as Rasta, uh, lack discipline and we can say that with confidence after trodden within the trod for, for over 20 years. Now, let me again read this speech um, to the college and 
I take it to I and I because I and I are the generation of them that see his face. So when his majesty is talking to this class, he's also talking to the generation to come um, and showing us what leadership is, is, what is required to be a leader. So we, we, when we say that we are his people and we're called by his name, we, we are called by the name of Rastafari. So we are his children. Um, again, I am not a Rasta, you know, I big up the Rasta them. Uh, big up Rasta culture, but I don't identify as a Rasta. I'm Rastafari, Rasta Fetty, if you want to use the Mharic, because that is the liberty, that is our teacher, that is that's how I came into the tribe. It's true, the teachings of His Imperial Majesty, and being uh, convinced by His teachings, by His works, by the live um, that He was truly the Anointed and the one that. Um, was the black man redemption uh, and and that is is my story and my pathway other might have a, another pathway and i big them up because to i right now is not a time of the divide and rule or divide and conquer it's time to find common ground and build so this is definitely for those who are studying the teachings you know you have a lot of rastafari or Rasta brethren, mostly Rasta brethren. I, I don't know any Rastafari that fight the king, but you have brethren who identify as Rasta, who have teachings that are completely opposite to what his majesty teach, or they don't deal with his majesty, or they just casually acknowledge his majesty, but they don't really follow the teachings. This is not that channel. You know, we are here, uh, the, the teachings are our Bible in terms of um, what we use um, to guide our steps uh, from that time till this time henceforth and eat evermore and we give thanks because because we follow the teachings we can point to a legacy of work that we have accomplished in terms of institution building in terms of achievements um, following the teachings and this speech for I um, so just to be very candid with the lion pride this speech uh, the university college speech has been one of my guiding mantra, one of my guiding speech that I use when, I, you know, you, you need that energy, you need to make sure that you're moving in the right direction. I, I always come to this speech, read it hundreds of times, never gets old, and I recommend every Rastafari man, this speech, return to it a minimum once a year, once a month, probably even better but know this speech internalize it use it and trust me you're going to see the results in your life change as you adopt um, this teaching but this speech says the following the, the the passage that we're going to examine says he who would be a leader must pay the price in self-discipline and moral restraint this entails the correction and improvement of personal character the checking of passions and desires and exemplary control of one's bodily needs and drives. Leaders have to submit themselves to a stricter self-discipline and develop a more exemplary moral character than is expected of others. To be first in place, one must be first in merit as well. Vital, and we're going to break that down. You're like the flower to my garden I say your heart is never hardened Gonna give you love until I'm morning Well, I know your plan tonight Say you want a one night stand tonight Say you want a find a good man tonight And if the vibe's right you say you will go hold him tight And then I know your plan tonight Say you want a one night stand tonight Say you want a fat sexy girl tonight And if the vibe's right you will go rock her world tonight And then I see them out there pan them hunting them tell them friend tonight, them a fi kill something All they pan them mind when them see woman that a one thing Said that them a girl is step not to win and no gun thing Still, them never take time to control hormones Tell her anything does to hear her moan 
Coffee get her number inside their phone Them want a joy ride so them a try drive her home Them say, now left them house without put on cologne Now go get trapped down in a no friend zone Every day them want another girl come around Them get so low down them a go find themselves alone they say, she hear the loss in a them vocal tone When them start tell her say she fat and brown She smile inside she says she like how that sound She never realize them hurt and got a heart full of stones And then I know your plan tonight Say you wanna one night stand tonight Say you wanna find a good man tonight And if the vibes right say she a go holding tight And then I know your plan tonight Say you wanna one night stand tonight Say you wanna fat sexy girl tonight And if the vibes right you a go rock her world tonight And then well, let's check out the situation We in the west and we forgot repartuation She was the victim of child molestation So when she want attention then she start all the gyration She say she never learn how to live no good life Never get no training to be no wife To spread her legs she says she don't think twice She feel hurt all day she want feel good at night She say sometimes she want champagne and candlelight She say sometimes she ride up on the back of a bike She say sometimes she feel like selfie for sun fight She wanna feel something things don't feel right